You guys remember this one? Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric, one of my favorite releases of last year. Yeah, apparently this is discontinued already. Hey friends, Ash here from Gent Sense. Hope that you're doing well. So I woke up this morning to an email from one of my subscribers telling me, hey man, I saw this on Facebook. Did you know that apparently Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric is discontinued already? Uh, shout out to you, my man. You know who you are, I appreciate the heads up. But I read the email and at first I thought to myself, no. No, not possible. I did a first impression on this, a first impression in June of last year, less than a year ago. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think it's very common for a fragrance brand to release a big flanker and then kill it within a year. So I was really suspicious. So then I looked into it more and I guess it actually is. So let's jump into it and I'll talk to you guys about what I found. So to give a little context, a little flavor here, when Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric came out, most people loved it. It sold out like that. So at Macy's, so at Macy's, you couldn't find it. Sephora, you couldn't find it. Yves Saint Laurent's website, couldn't find it. Discounters, Fragrance Buy got in some and then they sold out and after that, didn't get any more. The fragrance has been out of stock in the US for months. There were a couple times that Macy's got a few bottles in and as soon as they listed it back, it sold out again. So for a while there, I was actually joking with my friends and saying, hey guys, Lana Weed Alone Blue Electrique's probably discontinued. And we would kind of talk back and forth and just talk about how it's never in stock. But none of us actually really thought that it was discontinued. I mean, that would be insane. Feel free to go ahead and, and follow my steps here so you yourself can see what I'm talking about. But if you search Lana Weed Alone Blue Electrique on Google, there's some interesting things. I mean, if you do this in the future, obviously it may not be the same as it is right now when I'm filming. You'll see a link to Sephora for Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric, and it actually says in stock. So you click that link and it actually takes you to what is basically a dead page. Not a dead page like a 404 error or anything like that. It just says, sorry, the product that you're looking for isn't carried. Or actually what it says is we couldn't find a match for product not carried. So Sephora has already removed it from their website. You can find a link to Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric on Macy's, but it just says the product is unavailable. It doesn't have any place to, you know, put in your email for a back order or anything like that. It just says product unavailable. And if you search on Macy's website, it won't pull it up. If you type in Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric on Macy's website itself, not going through Google, it won't pull anything up. So obviously, that's not good news. Those are some red flags, not being on Macy's, not being on Sephora, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's discontinued. This is where things take a turn for the worse though. If you go to Yves Saint Laurent's own website, yslbeautyus.com, their US YSL site, you'll see that Blue Electric is out of stock. And you would say, oh, it's not a huge deal. It's out of stock everywhere, right? But there's more. If you go down to the review section where people can leave reviews of the fragrance, you'll find this review. I'm pretty sure this is being discontinued in the US, which doesn't make much sense considering it was just released. I'm not sure if it's being discontinued worldwide. YSL, you should be transparent with your customers and tell us if this will ever be restocked in the US. Otherwise, take it off your site. Three days ago, that was posted and YSL responded. They said, we appreciate your interest in our Lana Weed Alone Blue Electrique Eau de Toilette. Unfortunately, this has been discontinued. We understand how upsetting it is to discover that your go-to product is no longer available. We suggest checking out our other fragrances on our brand website. We hope you try out some more of our products. Now that does read exactly like pretty much every discontinuation statement I've ever seen from a brand. It's pretty much how they always word it. But assuming that's not a rogue employee at Yves Saint Laurent just leaving that comment, it looks like it's discontinued. So I did a little more digging. I went to the YSL website in France or their French website, I should say, and it's out of stock there too. It is though in stock on their Canadian website. So if you're Canadian, I guess you can buy it. Now, obviously this isn't gonna make a whole lot of sense to people. This is a fragrance that people have really enjoyed 
pretty much everybody has had great things to say about this one. It sold out very quickly. And I can't tell you how many messages and emails I got from you guys asking me, hey man, where is Lanoid Alone Blue Electric? Where can I get this? There were a couple websites in Europe that shipped to the US, French websites, and I checked those just to see if they had it in stock because they did have it in stock before. They don't, they're both sold out. And on those websites, typically they would have like a little restock date, you know, should be back in stock on this date or this long from now, it doesn't say anything. It makes no sense that they would go ahead and discontinue this outside of just maybe they're having issues with materials. That's about the only thing I could think of. And the reason I bring up materials is because I got an email not that long ago from Fermanish. Now I'm working on developing a fragrance with Fermanish right now, and they were supposed to have more lab submissions sent to me by the end of January, and they've not come yet. Fermanish has actually reached out a couple times and said, hey, we're waiting on a shipment of raw materials. We don't even have enough stuff right now to go ahead and make up the submissions that we need to send out to you because they're waiting on raw materials. Like that's apparently how far behind they are. Now that's Fermanish, and I'm not saying that's necessarily everybody. I'm not saying that's also Jividon and also Mon and all these other different flavoring houses, but it's possible that there's such a raw material shortage that they're just saying, ugh, you know, this is what we can get right now. And instead of putting it into Blue Electric, we're gonna put it over here. And in doing so, just made a business decision to basically kill off Blue Electric, or it's entirely possible that they are just discontinuing it in the United States and elsewhere, it's still gonna be available. That would suck, but it's possible. Lots of different fragrance houses have done that with limited editions, exclusive editions, you know, it's run the gamut. And the Stronger With You line, most of those you can't find in the US except through discounters. Um, Dior Homme Original, can't find that in the US right now except through eBay. So I guess there is a possibility that they're just pulling it out of the US market. Does that really make sense from where I'm sitting? No, but I don't have any of the information obviously that Yves Saint Laurent is using to make this decision. Obviously, I think this is terrible. The fragrance, like I said, hasn't even been out for a year. Basically, if you didn't get a bottle at launch from Macy's or one of the other stores that had it, you probably don't have it unless you got lucky and picked up one of the few bottles they had during a restock or the few bottles that Fragrance Buy got. Outside of that right now, it's just crazy hard to find, unbelievable for a new release. Another huge negative that goes along with this is people are already jacking up the price of their bottles insanely and dropping them onto eBay, trying to make 200 plus dollars. And yes, they already have the listings marked as discontinued. When something that is loved or hyped gets discontinued, this is what happens. Prices just go through the roof. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is apparently for real. Um, like I said, it's something I joked about back and forth with a bunch of other guys in the fragrance community saying, man, it's almost like it's discontinued because it's impossible to find. Nobody has it in stock. Nobody's getting it in stock. Everybody's asking for it, but it's just, it's nowhere. And then Yves Saint Laurent just kind of <laughs> drops a little customer service shell right on everybody's head there. They're just really casually like, oh yeah, that one, the brand new fragrance that pretty much everybody loved and bought immediately and sold the thing out. Yeah, we discontinued it. We don't have to tell you why. And actually, we're not even gonna really announce it. We're just gonna do it like this in a friggin' reply to a review on the website. I will say to kind of wrap everything up that this is another lesson in fragrances. If you really love something, pick up an extra bottle if you're worried about it being discontinued because these companies, they don't care if it's your favorite fragrance. They don't care at all. <laughs> they care about one thing, money. That's it, that's the only thing. If it makes sense for them to discontinue something, even if it makes no sense to me or you, they're gonna do it. And another thing, if there's smoke, there's probably fire. If there's something that seems off about a fragrance that you really like, if, if they suddenly are going out of stock and not being restocked, if the price is rising at discounters and it seems harder to get a hold of a bottle or they're getting removed from retailers like Macy's or Sephora, you know, their pages are disappearing, that's usually not good news. 
which makes sense when you really think about it. It's never a good thing if your fragrance is suddenly removed from the biggest retailers in the entire country. You know, the brand isn't going like, hey, uh, Macy's, if you could, could you just stop pushing our product because we wanna make less money. So if it's being removed, not good. Also, I'd like to say that there was one other YouTuber that made a video on this subject already. Uh, I saw it when I was searching everything up, when I was pulling everything up on the computer here, uh, Six Sense Official. So go ahead and check him out. If you search uh, Lana Weed Alone Blue Electric Discontinued, it should go ahead and pop that video up. So there we go, guys. Um, I'm not really pumped about it. I'm hoping that maybe it's just a discontinuation in the US or a rogue employee who had bad information, but it, it looks like the case that it is discontinued, even if I would like to hope that it's not. Maybe if we're really lucky, it's something that they just pull from the US market for some reason, and uh, we can get it at discounters in the future, you know, as they get bottles in from gray market sources. And I know, I know, I know, I need to wrap this up, but it really seems like it's been harder and harder in the US to get a hold of these new releases. So I'm wondering if this is gonna be something that happens even more as time goes forward, that it's harder here in the US to get a hold of them. Because look at how long it's taking these new releases to make their way over from Europe. One Million Elixir, The New Gentleman, The New Aqua de Joe, all these fragrances that people really want or are interested in are taken forever to get here. The supply chain issue is just jacked right now. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for all your support. Stay safe out there. See you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later.